We have here a motorcycle front wing. If we take it uh, reversed, we have more or less something that could be an aircraft wing. If we take an aircraft wing, uh, we, we see the, the, the section of the, the, the profile of the wing is, uh, has a particular shape. Imagine the air hitting the leading edge of the wing, then divides into one part goes on this side and the other goes on, on the, other, the opposite side. The part of the air which goes through this side, the longer side, has to, to join the, the air at the trailing edge, so the, the end of the, of the profile, with the part that went to the other side. But this, being this side longer, this, this air has to be faster than this one, okay? So, the air crosses, splits, one is faster and one is slower. Due to the conservation of energy, if the, the speed is increased, the pressure is decreased. So, this ends up with the this side of the wing having lower pressure than this side of the wing. This generates a force, which is the lift that uh, we experiment every, we take off on, on an aircraft. Huh? So if we take this principle and we just reverse it, we get what we need on a motorcycle. So we need a force opposite from the one on, on the aircraft, a force that pushes the motorcycle down, so increases the grip of the tire on the asphalt. The target of every designer is to maximize the grip, which means maximize the force between the tire and the ground. This allows the motorcycle to, to go faster on corners, to brake faster and to accelerate faster. As I said, a wing uh, always creates a force but there are some other parts of the motorcycle that can apply forces in some specific situation, for example, in corners. When we talk about the ground effect, we are talking about the interaction between the, the soil and the part of the motorcycle. When the bike is leaned over, this is, the, the ground is more or less in this area. No? The shape of this side is designed in order to reach the correct distance from the ground when the rider is at the maximum uh, leaning angle. Due to the presence of the ground, the airflow coming from here, it goes through a, a restriction, okay? So the speed of the air is increased in this area, but if we increase the speed, we reduce the pressure. So. It, it ends up with some low pressure in all this area when the bike is uh, leaned over. The ground effect is always acting vertically, perpendicular to the ground. So this helps the tire to have a lot of grip and the rider can go faster to the corner. The gap from the first rider to the tenth rider is so small in the motorcycle that every single the small effect you can get positively, you have to look at it because it, it maybe you go three position forward in, in the ranking.